Hey, Tim here. In 21.4, Tableau have added the Salesforce color palette and they've improved formatting for parameters in WebEdit. Let me show you how that works. First, you can see here that I'm on this dashboard. I'm not in edit view. So what I need to do is jump up into the edit capabilities so that I can edit this and actually show you the features. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's hit edit. Uh, let's open this up and you can see that it goes straight into WebEdit. Uh, WebEdit is getting really, really good. I think uh, it's getting very comparable to desktop and especially with the formatting, it's catching up really quickly. Now, what I want to do is I want to start by adding a parameter. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click any of these charts. The parameter doesn't really sort of matter in this particular case, which one I add, because I just want to show a feature in the parameter. I don't really need to change it much. And I'll move my face here to the left hand side so you can see it. So the parameter that I've brought in is now over here on the right hand side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to go to the drop down and I'm going to select the formatting capabilities, which I have escaped me. Actually, they're not called formatting, it's the editing capabilities. And inside of the editing capabilities, we have the formatting. So I, I sort of lost my trail of thought there. But nonetheless, formatting capabilities here for Tableau Server and Tableau Online is great because now you can customize these formats to whatever format you want, especially when you look at numbers here. Um, you've got all the different sort of formatting functions you've had. One thing I actually like about this is the standard currency here has a whole list of different uh, formatting uh, countries and currencies already implemented in here. So you can just pick based on the country you're in and you're pretty much good to go. Or if you want to, you can customize this completely and you're pretty much um, solid. So the formatting capabilities for parameters here are catching up. This is a really nice quality of life improvement. The next thing I'm going to show you is the Salesforce color palettes. Now, this isn't really a big deal unless you use Salesforce. Um, but the idea here is you might want some of the color palettes you use in Tableau to be in line with what sits inside of Salesforce. So let me move my face back to the right hand side here. And for this one, I'm actually going to go to shipping. I want to see if the shipping um, categories here actually lend itself nicely to uh, the particular categories you want to do. Yeah, it does. So what you can see here is that we have a categorical coloring system here. By categorical, I simply mean one color relates to one particular value in a dimension. So uh, you can see that blue relates to shipped early, uh, this light brown to shipped on time, and this sort of darker brown to shipped late. If I had more of a continuous coloring scheme like we just had here over on the product scheme where you have the profit ratio, which has a diverging color range, this doesn't really apply because the Salesforce color palettes are more for those um, dimensions and you know distinct colors than they are diverging color ranges. So um, the way to think of this is that if you have a continuous item and therefore you have a range of uh, values and you'd have a color scheme that has a range of values whereas if you don't have a range of values you just have distinct values and you just have distinct colors essentially so um, nonetheless i want to change this here let's go into this particular sheet and what i'm going to do is hit the color tab over here on the left hand side click on edit colors and you can see you get the standard color palette options that's absolutely normal but if i go to this drop down and i go all the way to the bottom uh, you can see that we have these you know, palettes called lightning and lightning is essentially a hint towards Salesforce. So lightning default, lightning color safe, lightning light, lightning dark, lightning blue grass, lightning sunrise, lightning water, lightning watermelon, um, whatever, which one of these you want to apply, uh, go ahead and apply them and they should match the same colors that you see in Salesforce for those same references. So if I go ahead and close this, go back to my shipping tab, this should hopefully look a little bit more in place if I was to put it on Salesforce. I have to say, all of the lightning color palettes are pretty garish. If Salesforce actually has colors like this used widely in the, in the tool, I don't know, let me know in the comments, then man, these are really bright colors. So that's pretty much it for 21.4 for these two capabilities, Salesforce color palette and the ability to format parameters in Tableau Server and Tableau Online. Um, if you haven't checked out the other videos on 21.4, please do check them out. WebEdit is getting much, much better. Again, I've covered many improvements to WebEdit over the last few releases, so check those videos out as as well. I'll try and put a playlist together for the uh, top right of the screen right now. But nonetheless, uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.